this makeshift sofa slash dog's bed is where I'm actually spending a lot of my time. Um, I had people, uh, some trolling on Twitter a couple of days ago. In life it's so important to learn to brush yourself down and pick yourself up. Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel, welcome back to another episode. And to a slightly different episode, today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of insight into my life in isolation, um, how I'm finding different things, and to kind of give you an insight into the other side of the story. Um, obviously you've been seeing me going to work, and I thought I'd share what the situation I'm in and what I'm doing, how I'm feeling, and hopefully I, that might give you a bit of insight and also um, maybe in some ways a little bit of help if someone can relate to that a bit as well. Now there's highs and lows. So I'm actually in Amelia's place, my girlfriend's place. Uh, she's gone back to Bournemouth. Uh, I've stayed here in London and decided to self-isolate in a sense. Um, so that there's less risk of me giving her or her family the virus. Um, it's not that easy for obvious reasons and um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that. But first, shall I show you around where I'm staying? So, as I said, this is her place um, and I'm just currently sat on the floor in the kitchen lounge region. If I kind of get up from my, where I'm sitting, uh, I'm sat on what looks like a dog's bed. Any of you that follow me on socials will uh, look at this and think, well hang on, I thought there was a sofa there. And those that don't will think, why have you not got a sofa in the lounge? Uh, well, the sofa was sold by the girls uh, that lived here because they're moving out. Essentially, I'm moving out of this place very soon. It's not ideal in lockdown, but the tendency's up, so I haven't got much choice. So, um, this makeshift sofa slash dog's bed is where I'm actually spending a lot of my time when I'm not in a &E. um, It's kind of where I use a base for editing my videos, thinking about you know what I need to do and planning, really. Um, just quite funny, I think you guys probably have already noticed this lovely bit of artwork. That was actually done by uh, one of her housemates and featured on BBC News the other day, which I thought was quite funny. But yeah, this is my little couch, so I've kind of set this up. You know, a couple of pillows and that. Got my lamp there, got a plug and stuff. And you can see my stethoscope's scattered there. Obviously that gets cleaned just before I leave a &E, and I actually am quite careful and clean it as soon as I come home. Laptop here, of course, very important. And I've got my my scrubs washed, they go straight in the wash as soon as I come home and I jump in the shower. Um, those that might have seen me you know, doing the TV bits and pieces, I have my shirts hung up ready. A lot of you might ask where do you do the TV bits? Well those that are sharp eyed amongst you might recognise this mirror. Um, so when I've been doing news pieces and just giving you know, advice or explaining what I've experienced, um, it's usually sat at the end here with that in the background, and I just mount it on this very handy device here, landscape usually for TV, um, just with my phone. So not very, not massively glamorous for TV really. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces up here. My mic sock thing with a Rode mic. I use that occasionally if it's really, really windy, although sometimes I forget and that's why you get some noisy sound quality. Now as most, YouTubers and vloggers and whatever, I have a light stand because otherwise the the lighting is is terrible. I thought I'd never thought I'd say that. Um, I'm not someone who necessarily would care about lighting, but that has been uh, something really that has become perhaps a bit more important. Um, so yeah, this is where I spend most of my time essentially. Obviously, there's a room upstairs I'm staying in. There's a little bit of outside space back there. Uh, I'm not here playing the violin. This is obviously a nice area and space, and there's people. Uh, around the country in tiny flats and stuff, so I am certainly very, very lucky and very grateful to be staying here. I thought I'd show you as well my cheese plant. Again, those of you who follow me on social media will know I've got my cheese plant, Baby Bell, uh, who's doing quite well. Uh, Amelia bought me this for my birthday as well, so I've got two plants. I am watering them and keeping them nice and healthy. Any florists amongst you or horticultural experts might give me some advice on those, uh, how to look after them best, because they can be a bit difficult. But anyway, let's return back to um, back to the dog's bed, and uh, we'll have a little chat. So, oh, so I, the reason I thought I'd make this video was because I was like, there's a lot of people around the country that are at home with the families, but there's a lot of people as well that are isolating on their own, or healthcare workers that are in similar situations and decided to self-isolate, or those in vulnerable groups and at-risk categories who, yeah, have, have essentially you know been in a position they have to isolate alone. And it's not, it isn't easy. Um, what's odd for me is I go from a &E where it's 100 miles an hour, a uh, really high stress environment, there's a lot going on there. I'm seeing 
very difficult things to coming home here in silence. That is very odd. Um, I'm naturally, anyone who knows me was I'm naturally very sensitive. I'm someone that I enjoy human company, I like being around people, and it's difficult. I mean, I haven't seen Amelia now for probably three plus weeks, which is a long time. Um, I think when you see difficult things, you want to share those things with people and talk about it, uh, which is difficult. And it's hard, for, it's hard to explain over kind of FaceTime things that you're thinking. Um, Communication is amazing, you can use those kind of things, but it can, you kind of want to be there in the present sometimes to kind of really be able to share how you're feeling about certain things. Um, Amelia's great with it, but um, it's not always easy. What also is difficult is the things that we're seeing and experiencing, if you tell people who haven't worked in A&E or not doctors or healthcare professionals, it's really hard to hear actually. Um, and you don't want to upset other people, so that's another point as well that can, can be a challenge. Yeah, I think it's a weird thing, isn't it? You go from a, you know, a busy day in a &E to here in silence, and you kind of look around the room and go, literally just me, you know, day after day. It's, it's odd, you know, it's odd, and it'd be interesting to hear people's thoughts and what their experiences are up and down the country and, and their own situations and how they deal with it. For me, like, the most important thing I've found is um, you know, to make the effort to communicate with people. So I do actually get on FaceTime, I call people probably more than I have ever um, to try and just stay in touch with people. Uh, and I also try and make sure I have routine. Like I do a lot of, a lot, as a lot of you will see, I do a lot of stuff like YouTube, I do my podcast, a lot of media, um, but I create routine around that. And I think that's so important, even if, you know, maybe all your work stuff you can't do right now. You know, learning, you know, something new and doing something new in, Isolation is really important to keep your mind busy. Exercise helps as well. I go out on, on the bike and stuff, which, which is really helpful. Um, but it does make you, when you stop in these situations and you go, wow, like everything we took for granted in the world is like not happening right now. All the things like being able to go for a pint with your mates or, you know, just hanging out or going for food or going out, you know, for dinner with your girlfriend. Like all that stuff you take for granted just doesn't happen right now. And it's, it is very odd. It is very odd, and some days are easy and some days are hard. Um, I had people, uh, some trolling on Twitter a couple of days ago, um, which I found very difficult. Um, I'm quite sensitive, I'm quite strong and resilient at the same time, but I'm quite sensitive. And I think when people write stuff about you, especially at the moment when I'm doing my very best to do everything with good intentions, it's very difficult. Uh, it's not nice because you are doing things you know, in my heart, everything I'm doing right now is because I want to help and do the right thing. Um, you know, I don't want to sound like an idiot or whatever, but I don't have to be on the front line. I don't have to be an a and &E. I, I don't have to do that job right now. I could disappear for six months and, and, uh, and wait for it all to blow over. But in my heart, I would never live uh, with myself doing that. I have to do my bit. I want to be on the front line. I want to be helping. You're doing your very best, but some people always are going to criticise you. I think in life, it's so important to learn to brush yourself down and pick yourself up and not let those things you know ruin you know your 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 mental strength and stuff and your positivity because ultimately i think that's what allows you to be successful in whatever you do in whatever facet that is i think success is often attributed to like wealth and money but i think it means so much more than that and being able to lift yourself off the ground when you feel bad or if you're in a difficult situation is is really really important and and having people around you to help you do that i'm very fortunate to have good friends and family i can reach out to and, and speak to and i think you know on the whole you know i must say as well i there's been real positives about being on my own as well i've had a lot of time for introspection for uh, thought for uh, meditation in some ways and and just thinking about what i'm doing and what i want to focus on what matters in life and i think that's been really powerful actually so there is good and bad. One of the things I think is incredible and has come out of this whole situation in the positive is that most people have pulled together. People have realised how important the NHS is, how important it is to look after the people that matter in our lives and to have positive impacts. You know, when I come out of this, I really hope that I'll have learned a lot from it. Uh, I'm sure you guys watching will, will, will agree that we've all learned something from this, uh, either about ourselves or people around us. We've learned which businesses and football clubs um, um, might try and fleece us in these times. And, you know, we learned which businesses actually were really supportive and, and did their bit and helped the NHS. So um, 
I think, yeah, I think there's a lot we'll all take away from this. I just wanted to show you guys outside of A&E, like what, what goes on, not behind the scenes, but you know what I mean. I'm just here with my bits just like everywhere and um, I'm usually quite a tidy person, but um, uh, some of the days have been quite manic. Um, so I probably need to do a quick tidy after this YouTube. I probably should have done a tidy before the YouTube, but I kind of wanted to show you the reality. I think sometimes we kind of make things look perfect when they're not, we're in a difficult situation right now. So trying to make things look perfect wouldn't be right. Anyway, I, um, I hope this uh, video has been um, somewhat insightful, maybe not as thrilling as showing you A&E, but I hope this has given you something. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone actually who's supporting me on my channel. Um, and there's a lot of new subscribers and people that are following me for, for, for my journey and health and things. And I really appreciate that. Um, I don't take that for granted either. I don't take your support for granted. I think the comments and stuff, the things that you're saying, it means a lot to me. Um, and I will continue to do my best for you guys as well. So thank you so much. Um, take care. Please do like the video and comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, and yeah, we'll do another video very soon. Take care.